Welcome to the Florida Department of Transportation District 5 Work Program Review Training for Public Transportation Agencies. This training is intended to assist transit agencies that receive public transportation grant funding from the department and federal agencies to understand the FDOT work program and processes. It is vital that public transportation agencies appropriately communicate funding issues and amounts in the work program with their FDOT grant manager. After watching this short tutorial, agency representatives will better understand the FDOT work program cycle, how to access the work program in various formats, and how to mark up the work program for submittal to your FDOT grant manager. The Florida Department of Transportation's work program is a five-year plan of transportation projects. The Office of Work Program and Budget has the responsibility of developing and managing the five-year adopted work program. FDOT's work program contains all funding commitments for every transportation project across the state. The work program functions as the federally mandated State Transportation Improvement Program, or STIP, which must be approved by the Federal Highway Administration, or FHWA, and the Federal Transit Administration, or FTA, on the first day of the federal fiscal year. It is developed alongside state, federal, and local agencies and includes all the department's projects. Transit agency projects can also be derived from transportation improvement programs, otherwise known as TIPS. TIPS are developed by metropolitan or transportation planning organizations. Recipients are defined as agencies who receive funds directly from FTA, such as the FTA's Section 5307 grant, whereas subrecipients are defined as agencies who receive federal grant funds that are passed through the state, such as Section 5311. Although FDOT updates project cost and funding commitments for projects that it directly oversees, some federal dollars that go directly to agencies must be updated by the recipient of those funds in the work program. Later on, we will discuss how an agency informs FDOT of direct federal funding on projects. In February of each year, FDOT must submit a preliminary tentative work program to the Executive Office of the Governor and the Legislature at least 14 days prior to the legislative session convening. In March, the complete tentative work program must be submitted no later than 14 days after the legislative session begins. In May, FDOT District 5 will send you the projects associated with your agency for review and comment. At this time, an agency representative should mark up the work program and send back to the department for changes. Your FDOT grant manager will report back to work program management to make necessary changes on the work program related to direct federal awards. On July 1st, the department adopts the tentative work program and it becomes the adopted work program. Once the work program has been adopted, that is when it becomes the STIP. It is very important that agencies receiving public transportation funds review the work program to ensure that funds are being programmed accurately and align with an agency's relevant tip. To view the FDOT Adopted Work Program, visit the website indicated on this slide. There are multiple STIP viewing options, including statewide or district-specific PDF, Excel, or summaries of online reports. By clicking on the statewide STIP as a PDF file, you will access the documents submitted by FDOT to FHWA for approval. This version is strictly referred to as the STIP because that is the name of the final document approved by FHWA. The best way to navigate this document is to search for a project by number, if you know it, as it is not divided by agency or district. In this document, you will only find projects that are at least partially federally funded. To view the work program by district, click on the link that identifies the district you wish to review. By accessing this version, you will be able to view all projects within the district's work program. Projects are also viewable in an Excel format by downloading this version of the work program. This may be your preference if you would like to sort projects by using worksheet headers. Lastly, 
Agency representatives are able to access the work program using an online reporting system. By clicking the link labeled STIP Project Details and Summaries Online Report, you will be directed to the Federal Aid Management Office's STIP Project Detail and Summaries Online Report. The advantage of this version is being able to view the current STIP or the most recently approved STIP. The approved step will only include projects and commitment amounts approved by FHWA, whereas the current step contains amendments or proposed changes. If you know your project's number, or if you just want to see projects in a certain county or MPO area, you might want to use the STIP Project Detail and Summaries online report. In order for you to view detailed information, such as the agency name or project description, you must select the detailed option for report level. If selecting the summary version, you must have a number related to the project that you wish to view. The web view option looks slightly different from the PDF and Excel versions, but the reports contain the same information. Financial management numbers, also called financial project number or just FM numbers, identify and define a project within FDOT's work program. This number is a unique identifier associated with a project and will not be duplicated for other projects. The item number is a six-digit numeric code systematically assigned by the work program administration system to each new project when it is first programmed. The item segment is a one-digit code used to distinguish project schedules, funding, or boundaries of the different phases of work. The phase is a two-digit alphanumeric code that defines the phase of work. The first digit is the phase group. The second digit is the phase type. The financial sequence is a two-digit numeric code that designates portions of the total phase estimate amount for specific uses within the phase limits. Reviewing the work program at times can be confusing and overwhelming. We will be looking at the District 5 PDF work program as an example. When searching for a specific project in the District 5 work program, for example, the FM number is located at the top left of each project section. Project descriptions can be found towards the middle of the page. Funding on the out years is reported in each column of the page and totals out the number of years with funds programmed at the far right of the page. Additionally, you will be able to identify the type of funds being committed to the project by FDOT, a federal partner or your agency as part of your local match. When reviewing the work program, you will notice that there are codes associated with each of the funding amounts. Fund codes indicate the source of funds. This slide shows some of the most commonly used fund codes for transit projects. It is important to note that toll revenue or transportation development credits used as a soft match are not shown in the work program. Fund codes are listed alongside each amount programmed on a project. This is valuable information to have when identifying the committed amounts by agency for a specific project. If you aren't sure what a certain fund code means, you can find the full names in the fund summary at the end of the work program report. As previously mentioned, your FDOT grant manager will send you the work program in May of every year for you to make corrections to funding amounts. When providing updates to FDOT related to the work program, there are several items that should be considered. Roll forward is what happens when a new fiscal year starts and current year project funds have not been encumbered. Without intervention, the funds will roll forward onto the next fiscal year, which may make tracking difficult if the project already had funds programmed in the next fiscal year. In that case, the two years worth of funds will be combined under one project in the same year without any way to differentiate the years of allocation. Funds not passed through the department should be updated to match the exact amount of funding being provided. If your agency applied for the full amount, then you should indicate does not need to roll forward for that line item. If your agency only applied for a partial amount of the apportioned amount, then you should indicate the correct partial amount. 
Your FDOT grant manager will send these changes to the work program administrator. You are responsible for ensuring that the current year funding is correct and matches what is in your jurisdictional tip. And lastly, ensure you provide projections for the next four years. If you are unsure of your federal apportionments, you must visit the corresponding Funding Partners page. For this example, we will review the Federal Transit Administration's page to verify apportionments for Section 5307 funding, which is not passed through the state. Federal apportionments can be found on the Federal Transit Administration's website by year and by program. You may download the tables by clicking on the appropriate links. The apportionment tables are downloaded as Excel spreadsheets and contain apportionments for all urbanized areas in the nation. Once in a table, scroll down to find your urbanized area apportionment. Using this information, you will need to update the project funding amounts based on the published apportionments. This can be done by simply handwriting comments in the work program and sending a scanned version to your FDOT grant manager. If you would like more information related to this tutorial, please reach out to Diane Poitras, the FDOT District 5 Transit Programs Administrator, using the contact information provided on this slide.